Paulie George. Hey, how are you? Thanks so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. We've been friends a really long time. We work together on Black Rabbit George. We've collaborated on projects in the past. And I've always been inspired by your incredible musical ability. Anything else you can tell me about your career path or, or just some fun fact about you? I like to go jogging. <laughs> you like to go jogging? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, I couldn't think of anything better, I don't know. <laughs> I like Chinese food, there you go. <laughs> Awesome. Today's topic is innovation in music and the reason I've chosen you for this is because I think that you are particularly innovative with the work that you do. So just in your opinion, how important is it to be innovative in music? Uh, I think it's very important. Um, I mean, it's not necessary. You can you know, play great music, it sounds good, it sounds like someone else, but particularly if you want to make a career out of it or um, do anything original in the art world, it has to be innovative, in, you know, at least on some part of it you know what do you think the role of technology is in that i think it's huge i mean it's always been technology driven you know even back when that pianos you know before they had the sustain key everything had to be you know, played non-stop then they invented a sustain key so you've got long notes and i mean it goes up till now it's, it's always uh technology and then you know artists try to figure out creative ways to use it and how do you use it in your work you know i, I think we're passionate by a lot of styles so usually we end up sort of mashing two styles that hadn't worked or, you know, didn't seem to work before. For instance, you know, we've got sort of heavy beats, electronica with flamenco or, you know, we grab all sorts of sounds from, from different kind of cultures and, and, and see what works and what doesn't. Mm. Because, of course, yeah, you're, you're one half of um, Tijuana Cartel, which is a very well established act in Australia. And Tijuana Cartel is a really interesting genre blend. It's, um, was that innovation something that you always intended with that project from the beginning? Not from the beginning. We started it when we were quite young. Uh, we just wanted to make electronic music and, and you know, um, just stuff that we liked. But it just sort of happened organically as it was. And the more we got into it, the more we wanted to be artists. And we'd noticed we had certain differences. So we kept pushing those and, and working on that. But it wasn't the original. You know, we didn't sit down and think, how can we come up with an innovative project? It just, it sort of happened. And, and you know, we, of course, we wanted to stick out. So we, we um, concentrated on the differences. Yeah, and it's given you a good sort of competitive edge, I think, to be unique and, and different in a, in a saturated market, hey? Yeah, that's it. So just in, from your opinion, what have, is there examples of innovation in, with other artists or in, in the current market that you know, has caught your attention? Yeah, there's, um, uh, there's quite a few bands I'm liking at the moment. Um, one that comes to mind is Unknown Mortal Orchestra. They use a lot of just putting an extra two bars, you know, so um, they still have a dancey feel rather than being in 4-4, they just make it 6-4 for a few hours and, and flip back. And I've heard that. And the first song I can think of is that Electric Feel, the MGMT, that they use that. But I've heard that popping up now and then, then uh, more often, I suppose, you know. Uh, but there's, there's, I could rack my brain for hundreds of them, really. Um, yeah, every time I hear a new band, I hear some kind of new innovative approach, you know. Um, there's so much of it. There is a bit of a dichotomy, dichotomy I guess, between being best practice, you know, in terms of music but then also being highly innovative at the same time it's not an easy balance to strike but um yeah i think yeah you've summed it up really well so let's um let's just maybe think of a tagline or a sort of a bit of a summary here what about innovation is what makes music exciting yeah i think i agree with that it's true yeah it, that's definitely what gets the ears pricked up awesome well i'm going to throw one little fun question at you now well, um if you were stuck on a desert island for the rest of your life and you could only take one album with you what would it be oh that's a hard one but i'd probably go uh sami's dream uh smash of pumpkins because i remember when i was um around 13 14 i, I had a knee uh, operation I was in hospital for six weeks only with that one tape and i never got sick of it so i figure if i ever get stuck with something that that might see me through wow yeah great album yeah it's not not bad thanks so much for being here paulie i really appreciate it all right thanks so much for having us Cheers.